Okay, so in this video I'm looking at something called reverse bearings. Now the idea of reverse bearings is really, really simple. Uh, let's say you leave from a point, let's call it point A, and you go on a bearing uh, like this, like 45 degrees, and, you, and your boat ends up here. And then when you get there, you need to go back. The question is, what direction should you go in in order to get back from somewhere? Uh, so let's take a look at the sort of question I'm talking about uh, so you can see how they work first of all. Okay, so here's the first kind of question you might get asked. If I travel at a bearing of 60 degrees true from point A, what bearing should I travel on to return? Okay, so the first thing you need to do here, this is stuff you've done before, come here to point A. Find 60 degrees, there it is, and draw a line. Now we know our boat's travelling along that line, but they haven't given us a distance, so we don't know how far it travelled. But it really doesn't matter, uh, because whether it ended up here or here or here, the direction it will have to travel in to go back to point A will be the same. Let's assume it just ended up here. Uh, no reason why, just because I've picked it. If I need to figure out how to get back from there, one way that I can do it is by just drawing a diagram, coming over here, reading it off my scale, and seeing, okay, I went, I went in that direction, that was 60 degrees, if I want to go back in this direction, read it off the thing here, the answer is equal to 240 degrees. Okay, so that's one way to do it, but it's not its not the best way to do it. I've got a, a faster way that I can show you. Uh, let's do a pure reverse bearing. Some of these are called back bearings as well, so don't get too confused. Reverse or back bearings, same thing. Okay, let's take a look at a more mathematical way to do it. So here's our question here. Find the back bearing of 97 degrees true. Now this hasn't given us information about where we started or where we did. It's just a pure question. Here's a direction, what's the reverse of that direction? Now, have a think about it. You're walking along in the direction 97 degrees true. Bump, 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 bump. And then you need to go back the way you came. The easiest way to do that is to walk and then turn around. And when you turn around, you're turning 180 degrees. So the magic thing to think about here is 180 degrees. So very, very simple. The back bearing here is equal to 97 plus 180. Because you turned around. And when you turn around, you turn around 180 degrees. So you can type that into your calculator and you'll get an answer I hope the answer is uh, 1A, 2A, 277, 277 degrees true. That's our back bearing. So if we went 97 degrees, if we want to go back the way we came, we add 180 to that, turn around, and now we end up with 277 degrees true. Now that only works in half of the cases. Let me show you the other one. Okay, so this second one here, find the back bearing of 230 degrees true. So again, you're walking along at, on the direction of 230 degrees true. Now to go back the way you came, you need to turn around 180 degrees. Now if you added 180 degrees to this, you would end up like off the scale, because there's only 360 here, and 230 plus 180 is more than 360. But instead of turning this way, you could turn this way. And we can do that by subtracting 180. So the back bearing in this case equals 230 minus 180, which equals 50 degrees true. Okay, so when you're finding reverse bearings or back bearings, you need to make a choice. Do I add 180 degrees or do I subtract 180 degrees? 
Very, very simple. If the original is more than 180 degrees, subtract, take away. If original is less than 180 degrees, add. Okay, that's uh, reverse bearing. You really need to practice these. Make sure you know what you're doing. Have a go on the questions. All right, thanks, guys.